Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Tipsquirrel.com. In this video, I'll be using the quickest and the easiest way I know to make this spot colour effect. Now, I can't take full credit for this, as it's based on a technique I saw demonstrated by Rich Harrington. Rich used a very similar technique to spot colour video inside of Photoshop. However, in this video, I'll be spot colouring a still image inside Adobe Camera Raw. This technique can also be achieved in Lightroom. OK, so here we are. We're in Adobe Camera Raw. I've just brought my image in. I just need to do a quick couple of adjustments, just as I always would when I bring an image into Adobe Camera Raw. I'm just going to have a look at the whites and the shadows here and the highlights. Are maybe a bit too bright there. That's better and perhaps a bit more clarity. Now, I do need to sharpen this as well, as I do with every image. So I'm going to go into 100%. Fortunately, it's on the focus point straight away. So now if I go over here to my detail, and I'm going to hold down Alt on the keyboard, and I'm going to move my masking up, and then I'm going to move my detail up, and my radius up. Now, this will, of course, always depend on what image you're using. And then add a bit of sharpening, and that's much better. So my before and my after, nicely sharpened. Double click on the hand, bring it back to full screen. Excellent, good. OK, now let's do some spot colouring. That's what we're here for after all. And this is very easy. I'm going to come over to here, this HSL grey scale. Click on that. HSL standing for hue, saturation and luminance. And saturation is where I want to be. Now you can see these sliders are all set to the middle to zero and they can either be at positive 100 or make negative 100 or somewhere between the two now all i want is reds so i can come to all the others minus 100 tab minus 100 and keep going all the way down and sure enough we have now spot colored the reds now that's all very well but this isn't how i want it it's looking a bit ratty on these bags here and also on the brickwork at the top. So let's see if we can adjust it so as it doesn't get in there. That's easy enough. I can use this, the adjustment brush. Now for this image, I'm going to use a fairly big brush. I've got no feathering at all. I'd want a nice hard edge for this in my particular case. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that uh, everything is set to the middle um, by clicking on the minus arrow, sorry, the minus point, of the saturation. That will make sure that everything goes to the middle and saturation then can be pulled right down to the minus 100. Now all I need to do is just start painting away my red. Now you can see I'm showing the mask. I actually like having the mask showing when I'm doing things like this because I can see exactly where I've got to. And round we go. I just want to come up here a bit and then round there. Fill in everything but the hats. And sure enough, we now have, when I let go, hopefully, I take away the mask, we now have a spot coloured image just in the reds. And I can go back quite easily into my HSL and I can boost up those reds a bit. And sure enough, there they go, nicely boosted. I'm starting to get a little bit more here. That's not good. Let's go back to my adjustment brush and again we want to have the saturation at zero new brush start a little bit away this time and paint away some more and it's as simple as that i saw some ratty bits coming up in the brickwork again so we'll get rid of those and there we go now i know there's some nice blue colors on the hats here let's bring those back shall we all i need to do go back to my hsl again and in my saturation i can bring my blues up and sure enough the blues and the purples are coming back into the hat. Now that's looking a bit ratty uh, underneath here and uh, along the edge here. OK, back to my uh, adjustment brush and I can just paint to them away. As easy as that. Now I'm rushing a little bit. Obviously you might want to be a bit more careful and zoom in to these rather trickier pieces. But I'm quite happy. There we go. Now I've got a red and blue spot colour. Very, very easily indeed. In fact, what was that? Less than five minutes. 
and I can play with those as much as I like. I can even go back to my hue saturation and luminance, and of course I can change the hues of the reds. Um, I can change the hues of the blues. I can do all kinds of things. You know, it's all there to be played with in a side Adobe Camera Raw. There we go. I'm Eric Renault. This was a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free site for everything Photoshop, Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.